This is a story that we've been covering for months. What authorities call an opioid crisis with fentanyl related deaths on the rise. And we've spoken to a number of families out here, parents as well, and the stories of heartache by grieving families, they are endless. And it's a sharp rise in deaths from accidental fentanyl poisoning that's triggered these efforts by families and parents of teens who've died after purchasing what they think are pharmaceutical grade drugs that end up being laced with a highly potent synthetic opioid that's 100 times stronger than morphine. Yeah, I know it's hard for each and every one of us to relive it, but regardless of where we're at, we continue to relive it on a daily basis. They're united in their push for change. Families who share more than just their fight for reforms, but the pain of losing loved ones to accidental fentanyl poisoning. Parents like Amy Neville, whose 14-year-old son Alexander died after purchasing what he thought were pharmaceutical-grade drugs on the popular social media platform Snapchat. Those pills, she said, contained the powerful synthetic opioid fentanyl that's 100 times stronger than morphine. Let us in. Let in a transparency audit, third party, completely unrelated to Snapchat, to verify what you're doing, either to say, yeah, you know what, they're getting this right, or you know what, here's what they're getting right, here's what they need to fix, or they're totally missing the mark. These groups of advocates gathered early this morning at a nearby park and marched to Snapchat's Santa Monica headquarters. They want Snapchat to install tougher safety features on the app to block criminals from targeting young online users. We've showcased pieces in the past detailing just how easy it is for drug dealers to direct message teens. Those drugs can be delivered at their doorsteps in minutes. This budding artist who lost his brother to fentanyl poisoning said losing a loved one is something a family never heals from. <laughs> drug addiction drug battles are it's a it's a difficult fight I went through some on my own too but you know fentanyl just makes it an unfair fight now you know he's gone and um, it's you know he left a one-year-old daughter behind snapchat in its latest efforts to enhance safety on its platform is making it harder for users to become friends with teens they don't know the company announced new rules to restrict the number of friends suggestions young online users see when they're on the app to prevent drug dealers from adding minors as friends snapchat also recently announced partnerships with anti-drug organizations to educate and provide resources for teens using their app and these parents, these families also tell me what's extremely frustrating is that their requests to speak with someone, anyone they say from the company in a public or private setting, that those requests have gone unanswered. I can tell you that in covering the numerous stories that we've done, we've tried for the past several months to speak with a company representative. We've only been provided with a company statement. That's the latest here in Santa Monica. Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News.